Hello, beloveds. Thank you for joining me, Unicol Unicron, for this delightful sermon on consistency. This is something that I have learned in various methods, and I'm really excited to talk about it with you, especially on this beautiful day, January 1st, the year 2023. I don't know if we're in the past or we're in the future at this point. It's very confusing. This is a year I've never really thought of, but here we are in the year 2023. If you are here with me right now, we are in a blessed moment, a blessed moment in time where we are able to shift our future into something that we desire. We are able to shift our future into Unitopian paradise. We are here in a cosmic divine pocket of time where we are moving from the old world into the new world and we are so blessed to be here as the architects of that new world and as we apply our energy and our conscious creations to this world we help shift this world out of the third dimension of drudgery and materialism into the unitopian paradise of orgasmic pleasure and having our needs met on every level. So we are actually creating that. You are creating that in every moment, in every day. If you're alive right now, you have no choice but to be part of this. Your DNA is being activated by the sun. Every thought that you have ripples out in a galactic way, in a cosmic way, in a collective unconscious way that affects every other person. Every time you integrate a trauma, you are integrating it not just in your own reality, but for the collective if you are struggling with something that is so difficult and you don't have words for it and you find those words for it and you figure out how to climb that ladder out of your despair you built that ladder for others to climb in the astral realm they are able to access the work that you have done and use it whether that be because they saw you posting a video on tiktok or they saw a unicult sticker that you put up somewhere or they saw you smiling as you paid for your stuff at the store or whatever or just because they picked up on it in a cosmic way in a t telepathic way, in an unconscious way, in the dream realm, or in another version of reality, in another timeline where they just simply can integrate that knowledge and that information. There's a lot of cool hacks that aliens and angels are sort of implementing into this reality to allow us to all grow together. So remember, all of the work that you do of feeling your feelings, of integrating your trauma, of really uh, dreaming and hoping for the new world, it's changing the world. It's affecting the world. You might even see sometimes celebrities saying things that you just said or you know, your friends picking up on things or your family changing in ways you never thought your family could change. Sometimes even your grandparents will make these big shifts that you think, whoa, Nana, I didn't realize that you could stop being racist like that. Things are happening, okay? So really have hope for the future and know that you are creating it. And every ounce of work that you do towards this is, is having an effect. Part of the difficulty of being alive right now is feeling the helplessness and the hopelessness of this big tidal wave of change and feeling the strong negative feelings associated to this hopelessness or helplessness, um, there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of energy that's coming through. And so as we are subject to this energy, and maybe you don't want to make these big changes or you're not ready to make these big changes, but the universe is sort of sweeping you along on this path, it can be very uncomfortable. And you want to set your sight on a future that you want to create because, it, because what you want matters. In this universe, I often say that our free will is only the energy of if you can learn to appreciate something or if you're going to suffer with it and how you change your feeling about what's going on. That's the only free will you have because in many ways we truly are helpless and hopeless uh, as far as pushing against this tidal wave of change. And that's our ego. Our ego suffers and our ego feels really um, annoyed and, and upset when things get taken from us or things don't happen the way we imagine or things take longer than we think they should take or things don't actually um, manifest the way we think they should or we're, we're really praying desperately and longingly in our hearts for some sort of future and it just doesn't seem to want to come or it keeps we keep getting the opposite coming in. 
And I want to say that even though our only free will really is is going with the flow or not, we actually can align our energy in a way every single day that allows us to move towards that which we truly deserve on a soul level, that which will truly fulfill us wholeheartedly through the act of consistent alignment. And this consistent alignment that I'm talking about today is a balance of will and of surrender. Because it's a funny place, this earth, and even though you don't really have a lot of power for how things unfold, what you want also matters. And so it's this balance of really tuning into what do you want and allowing yourself to want it and allowing yourself to crave it and to feel longing for it because that's a very beautiful human emotion is to long for something, to crave something, to want something so deeply from the core of your being. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it can lead to suffering if you don't learn how to detach from it. So this consistent action, this everyday action is is about tuning into what do you want? Your desires and your longing and your craving and your and your just wholehearted wants are so valid and so real. And the more you can connect with that longing of your heart, the more you're going to know yourself. Sometimes that longing of your heart is an ego longing. You say, I want to control this person so that they love me so I feel safe. But that's not really what your soul wants. Your soul wants safety right so we get down we you allow yourself to desire wholeheartedly and then ask yourself what is the feeling that this is giving me this longing what is the what is the longing of this object going to going to give me if i really 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 want to move to uni acres what is the feeling that i want i want community i want uh, to feel nourished by the land. I want to feel like I have enough space. I want to feel like my friends are nearby. Can I access those feelings in this moment? Can I be grateful for the way that those feelings are showing up right now? And then, and this is the key, hand it all over to the divine. Take all your desire, all your longing, all those feelings you really are craving and throw them at your higher self. You can imagine it's a cast iron pan and just throw it at your higher self and say, take this. I don't want to carry it anymore. It's too hard. I don't know how to make it work. You take care of it. This is not my job. This is the job of my higher self. My higher self is supposed to take care of every single one of my needs and I'm not even supposed to be worrying about a thing. I'm supposed to be dancing in a garden and playing splashing in a river. Why am I trying to make divine opportunities happen? That's not my job. My job is to be a human and to eat fruit and to give little kisses to people I love. My higher self has the perspective of the higher realms of how to make divine things happen so that all of my desires are fulfilled in a way where I am truly fulfilled in a way that I can't even comprehend. And my higher self is capable and desiring to make those opportunities happen for me. And that's true for you too. So consistency is this idea of doing this magic, not in one big yearly spell, not in, you know, every full moon. Rituals can help. Okay, but consistency is about showing up every single day, doing a little alignment work. Why does this work? This works because we are electromagnetic beings. I had a, um, a vision. I was so high on cannabis the other day, and I had a vision of somebody, and their energy was like this magnet ball, <laughs> and every thought they had was rippling out in the streets and they could change their mind and it would change the architecture of the town because they were creating realities because they were so aligned and so strong in who they were and so ready to like create their future that they were affecting reality with every step and every thought and that's true for all of us 
You are an electromagnetic time bomb. You're a radiant energy. And every desire and every thought you have is jumping timelines. It's changing the architecture of this reality. So as you sit with what you want and as you hand it over to the divine energy, you are simply allowing the spirit of uni, God, your higher self, to open up a path a beautiful maze that you would never find on your own of like pure golden tile road and like birds singing and like just joy and love at every turn because you aren't attached to how you get to the destination. Your ability to emit electromagnetic energy is so much more powerful if you are consistently aligned with this type of surrender and will, this balance of surrender and will. If every minute of every day you are holding that consistent energy of balance between surrender and will and connection to the divine and connection to your longing and connection to your gratitude all at once, you are going to manifest what you want so freaking fast. Think about it like this. If you are trying to get better people in your life, but every day you keep connecting to negative people and you keep gossiping with them and you keep um, you know, letting people abuse you and you don't set boundaries and you've got these really terrible friends, this really terrible partner, you've got just negative people around you. And then once a month you do a spell and you say, I just want better people in my life. I just want better people in my life. And you, you spend two hours doing a big spell and blasting it out into the cosmos. But the next day you go back to your abusive partner. You go back to those people who are treating you badly. You did something, but it's not enough. Even if you put all of your energy into that one emittance, what's really going to change? It's like, it's like flipping a magnet, right? You have to keep the magnet flipped. You have to align your energy every single day with what you want. And this this includes your own will, and that means action. That means taking action that your, your higher self wants you to take that you know you're supposed to take. Like, hey, I need to cut these friends out. Hey, I need to stop gossiping when it comes up. Hey, I need to break up with this abusive partner. Hey, I need to be a better person myself and, and treat myself more kindly. As you do that work of the smaller energetic things where you're not just asking for some miracle to happen, you become the miracle. You become the miracle in every moment. That is how you unlock the most amazing changes in your life. And it takes time. This is not something we've been taught. This is not something we're used to. This is not something that we are comfortable with because no one ever told us that this is actually how the world is but as you practice it you will feel into the power of what it is to have a regulated nervous system which is the key to a consistent emittance of electromagnetic radiation which is charged with your divine path your will and your connection to the divine energy And that is what creates Unitopia in your world. Keeping a journal, using a uni planner, writing down gratitude every single day, doing a yoga practice every single day, meditating every single day, whatever you can do every single day, do a little bit all the time instead of a lot some of the time consistency is key we practice this in unicult when people want to become devoted members we used to say an hour a week you have to dedicate an hour a week and that's true but what we focus on more now is it's important to be consistent Whatever you can give every week, try to give that same amount. Whatever you can do every week, try to give that same amount. Alicia's a great example. Alicia, I haven't seen around very much, but Alicia shows up and does movie night every month. That rules. That's awesome. I love that. Thank you, Alicia, for showing your consistent energy 
to us in a way that is sustainable for you and for us, and we all get to benefit from that. Your ability to connect with your consistent energy, whether it be through a daily practice or a regular ritual or a, like as you can make anything into this ritual, like as you're brushing your teeth, you know, thank, give your thanks as you're going to bed, give your thanks as you're waking up, do a morning routine, do an evening routine. My life is mostly routines. I even turn my, you know, my scrolling on social media sometimes into a routine and it doesn't always feel good and I, I know that because I'm connected to what I'm doing and so I stop. I have a conscious intention around everything that I do and when what I'm doing doesn't align with my intention, then I can easily shift my energy to something else. The more you can master your energy in every single moment and keep a divine awareness in the forefront of your mind uh, with the intention of aligning with the things that you want in this world, the faster and the more beautiful these divine blessings are going to unfold for you. This is to do with surrendering and allowing beautiful things to come towards you. And it also is to do with letting go. Um, and, and it also is to do with taking action and knowing when you have to set boundaries, when you have to chase after something, when you have to apply for jobs, when to stop applying for jobs, whatever it is that is your balance, you need to find it and really just relax. Relaxation into the divine unfolding of life. Another thing about consistency is to remember that this work pays off. And the way to remember that this work pays off, this consistent work, is to remember that every moment is life. It's really easy for me, at least, to forget that every moment is life. I keep thinking life is going to up. It's uh, Once I get this, once I get that, once I get, oh, but I, but I haven't figured this out yet, so I can't start really experiencing life because I'm I got to fight, I got to think, I got to think, I got to think. How am I going to get this one thing figured out? Well, life is what's happening while you're sitting there thinking, how are you going to get this one thing figured out, right? Life is always happening. One second. <clears throat> So let yourself go through the process. Let yourself go through the process of reality and experience every moment and every blessing that comes up. And remember that this work pays off. Every minute, every day, every second that you are um, experiencing this life is life. <laughs> it's a new wig. We're doing our best. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me for Cam Church. I'm so happy to be here with you. Um, happy New Year. And please get yourself a uni planner, get yourself some kind of daily practice to align yourself with the reality that you want. Put $7, $1 a day into Unicult, $7 every Sunday into Unicult. Put the equivalent of $1 of energy into each of your goals every single day. And that is going to align your electromagnetic body with what you want. And remember that this is the most, I wouldn't be telling you that it was the most powerful way to do something if it wasn't. I used to fight and claw and scream and cry at this world and think, why can't I make this happen? I'd write letters to famous people. I'd do all these things, right? Somebody figure this out for me. But I needed to figure it out for myself by simply relaxing into being who I am and trusting that that's enough and trusting that that's unlocking the path that I'm supposed to be on. And I'm here now without the help of anybody else doing what I'm supposed to do, building a new reality with the help of you all. And we're not backed by any kind of corporate reality or elite reptilian agenda or anything. We don't have any any strings, any karmic strings attached to what we're doing because we're doing it ourselves. We're doing it from our own heart. We're doing it without help from the old system. We are just forging our way forward. And it's really beautiful 
So I hope that you can see my path and my journey and my frustrations for the last 10 years and and my success at this point and in the next couple of months and in the next year. And I hope you can see that what I'm saying is true. And your ability to consistently focus on something for a period of time and to trust that it's unfolding is the fastest way to get what your heart truly desires and it might not look like you think it's going to look and that's actually okay it's always a blessing it's always a blessing how things actually turn out you you'll see as time goes on Uh, it's hard to believe i know sometimes but if you relax into it and you allow it to be how it is you will be laughing at how it and at how it unfolds and you will be laughing at how much better it is than what you previously imagined. Spirit of Uni, please bless each of these beautiful individuals and align their energy with the galactic energy of consistent devotion to the light. Uni bless. <laughs>